My name is Kathy Budreski. I have been a member at First Parish Brewster for about 15 years. When I was asked to give a talk this morning on stewardship, I was taken aback. My immediate reaction was, stewardship? What do I know about that? I learned today, didn't I? <laughs> if you had asked me to talk about writing your memoir or end-of-life issues, I would have said, sure, no problem. But with stewardship, my brain got a little blurry. Where to start? Well, I thought of when I was a little girl, five years old, and every Sunday, my three siblings and I would get in the beach wagon and go to church, go to mass with my parents. And on the way, my father would reach in his pocket and give us some change. I, being the youngest, only got a nickel. However, he said, do not lose it. The church needs it. So on this particular day, we're riding to church and went around a corner. Next thing I knew, the door flew open and I fell out of the car. My father immediately stopped the car, jumped out, picked me up, and I had a bloody knee and an abrasion on my shoulder, but I had my nickel in my hand. <laughs> right here. <laughs> so, we didn't go to church that day, we went home and got first aid. But about five years later, we were about to move from that house to a different house, and my father lifted me up, and he said, feel on top of the door jam. See if you can find something. So I'm like this. Sure enough, there was the dusty nickel. And I think the moral of the story, and the reason I tell it is, even a five-year-old knows the value of stewardship and doesn't want to lose it, wants to put it in the poor box. Anyway, back to stewardship adult stewardship. First off, um, I decided to look up a definition of stewardship. Whenever I gave a speech in debate club, they, class, they always said, look it up first. What I liked and felt most comfortable with in Wikipedia was the definition, and I'll quote, stewardship is based on the idea that all we have comes from God. In order to thank God for our blessings, we must give back a portion of our time, talent, and treasure that God has blessed us with. Now, in the Unitarian tradition, some people may feel more comfortable changing the word God to a more secular, the universe, life source, whatever. Stewardship is not only a program, it's also an attitude, a way of life, no matter what I, what we call it, the idea of giving back a portion of our time, talent, and treasures is a way of life that we can em emulate. I first came to this church right after the World Trade Center bombings in 9-11. Like everyone else, I was desperately looking for spiritual support, and this was the only church that offered it immediately. I came to a beautiful midweek evening service that included celebrants of mixed face on the altar including, as I remember, an Inman, a Buddhist monk, a Protestant minister, as well as our own universe, UU minister. Was anybody at that service by any chance? Aha, wasn't it beautiful? It really spoke to me. It was moving, moving. it soothed my broken heart, it was sacred, timely, and relevant. I picked up a pamphlet on, in the pew on my way out that listed all the different ministries and groups in this church. When I got home, I read it, and I was very impressed at all the different things they offered here at this church. At that time, I was getting a little bit, disil a lot disillusioned with the Catholic Church, and I was looking for something. Eventually, after attending on and off for a few years, I joined and have been happy here ever since. My involvement with small group ministry, end-of-life programs, bereavement support, caring committee, uh, have, all, whoop, <laughs> have all been most satisfactory and most enriching. Um, I found that this church gives back big time. One of the greatest gifts I received personally from this church was the mega support that I got after several medical hospitalizations and situations. I never thanked everybody individually, but I was deeply grateful for this community, for all the cards, notes, calls, and offers you gave me. So I'll say thank you now. 
I am proud that FPB is officially a green sanctuary. Imagine if all the churches did this. What a gift to the environment it would be. Getting back to the three T's, stewardship takes time, talent, and treasure to maintain our beautiful church and carry on our mission. It takes money to maintain the grounds and buildings, pay staff salaries, and implement new programs like the solar program that we have. My hope for all of us today is that we continue to be a we, not me, congregation and accept the invitation with a commitment to do whatever we can to make this year's pledge drive a huge success. The next generation who will follow in our footsteps will appreciate and thank us for this lasting legacy of love. Thank you and blessings be always.